Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. This is a new video, part of the 2013-2014 mTOL Math Workshop series. So right here we have a problem from the, ele from the elementary 53, it's number 6. I want to point out some interesting observations in this problem. When two different prime numbers are multiplied, it is possible for the product to be A, an even number, B, a perfect square, C, an irrational number, D, a negative integer. Now, if we were just to focus on the vocabulary, right? Prime number. Multiplied, product, even, even number, perfect square, irrational number, negative number. And we didn't, you didn't know what those vocabulary words meant. That would, that would be equivalent to like crossing this out. And it would be really really hard to answer a question like this. Because without all that vocabulary, you'd be like, when two different blank numbers, it's blank, 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 blankety blank. And so what this problem is it's designed to do is teach you vocabulary, force you to know the vocabulary in, or, in order to answer correctly. So let's see. The first thing is we have two different prime numbers. Now as much as possible, Whenever I can, I'm, I'm going to do my 1, 2, 3 strategy here. 1, 2, 3 is a great way to, uh, if I ever need to pick out, you know, rational numbers or natural numbers or integers or, you know, prime numbers. 1, 2, 3 has it all because 1, 2, or 3 is a natural number. It's an integer. It's a whole number. Now, if I just want two different prime numbers, one, um, only 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have two factors, one in themselves. So 2 can be divided by 1 and 2. It's the only even prime. And 3 can be divided by 1 and 3. It has two factors, 1 and 3. So we have these two different prime numbers, and I'm going to start with, use that as an example. If I'm multiplying two prime numbers, that would be like 2 times 3. That would get me 6. And it says here, it's possible. So I'm just looking for an example that could theoretically work. So is it possible to take two different prime numbers and get an even number? Well, our example here works. And this is the answer. You can't stop there. you got to keep going. Because it wants you to understand these other words. Like, what is a perfect square? Let's start with uh, 1, 4, 9. This square... 1 is really, we could think about it if we wanted to, as being made up of 1 by 1. It's 1 squared. 4 is made up of 2 by 2. It's equal to 2 squared. 3 is, the sides are 3 by 3. You could think of 9 is made up as 3 squared. A perfect square, we have 1, 4, 9, uh, 16, and so on and so on and so on. A perfect square is made up of two prime numbers squared. Okay, so then we have to ask yourself, is it possible to get an irrational number? Is it? Well, what is an irrational number? I mean, uh, <laughs> if I only knew. Well, this is where you got to go back to your basics. A rational number, remember, it's any number that can be expressed as a fraction. That's the best way to remember it. Any number that can be put in the form of a fraction, like a fraction, decimal, percent, um, any f number that you can convert from a decimal into um, a fraction is a rational number. An irrational number, we say, is, you know, is a number that can't be expressed as a fraction, like pi, or any prime number under the radical sign is all always irrational. So that's like the square root of 2, or the square root of 3, or the square root of 5. Um, just a simple rule to remember, whenever you have a uh, two rational numbers, that would be like two prime numbers, it always is going to get you out a, a rational number. So I say, I tell teachers, um, a rat times a rat is always a rat. So there would be no instance where you would take a fraction and multiply by a fraction and get another irrational, and get an irrational answer, all right? Uh, and this last aspect here, the negative number. Well, I know what an, uh, first of all, negative integer, 
Now, what's an integer? This goes back to your core math, and there's tons of videos we've done on these. But an integer is any number that can be divided by, is positive or negative, that can be divided by 1 with no remainder. We think about it on our number line here. Um, 1, these are, all, these are all positive integers, 0 and the positive integers. And if we're thinking about our negative integers, remember, it can be negative. These are our negative integers. Um, sometimes, you know, integers, we're dealing with the negative integers here. So these ones here. All right. I think I'll leave integers, just talk about what integer is a negative integer. So we could go a lot further into this, but we're not going to. Now, what's unique about prime numbers, prime numbers are fall in the set of natural numbers. Natural numbers are, you know, we, we're looking at the numbers that are in our uh, positive integers beginning with 1. So we're starting our prime numbers at 2, 3, 5. So the key here is that they're in, not only are they in the natural set, but prime numbers are positive. So, so any prime numbers that you're going to be working with, you're going to be working with a positive times a positive, And that's always going to get you a positive. OK, team, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, definitely uh, check out more. Share them with your teaching colleagues. If you need help, attend a workshop. Thank you so much, team, for watching. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I wanted to uh, encourage everyone, if you have time, to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two-day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.